Thompson here from Social Media Illumination helping you to light up the web. Okay, I uh, started doing a little series a few days ago on Facebook's new timeline and uh, how your Facebook page is going to look in the back and that's what we're going to talk about today. We're going to continue looking at that. So let's go over to the screen and see where we got up to. And what you'll see is it has here something that's called an admin panel. And this is basically where you go to have a look and see your insights and what's going on on your page. So let's have a click on that and have a look and we'll take you through that. Now the first thing that you'll see here is the notifications. And the notifications are right at the top. So whenever anybody posts on your timeline, for example, or clicks like on your photo or comments on any of your posts, you'll see it here in your notifications. And that allows you to go straight back and interact with them straight away. So if somebody's made a comment on one of my posts, um, maybe they've told me it's fantastic information, or maybe they've got a question and they're not too sure about uh, exactly how to use the information that I've given them, then I can go back to that post straight away and clarify it for them. And that's one of the true beauties of social media marketing, is the fact that you've got two-way communication there and then. So that's your first section there, your notifications, and you've got, uh, what I think that's five sitting there already, but if you've got a very active page, you may well have to click on the see all button and then it will come up in a separate page. Now underneath the next section, you've got here your new likes. So anybody that's liked your page recently will be in this little box here. Now it's got a little scroll down thing. So if you're getting a lot of new likers, you can see sort of who they are straight away. Um, but it's also got the see all button again click that and a little box will come up and again with a nice scroll down button that will just go on and on and you can see more if need be okay now it is important that you know who likes your page um, not just for vanity you know great so many people like my page but again because this is social media and this allows you to know your clients or potential clients and customers and know what they want and need uh, so it may well be that some of these people are your friends already or it may be that at least you get a little bit of insight into where they're from, what kind of things are important to them and that helps you to deliver that for them. Next thing along is we've got the insights. I am so happy that this box is now right here on this page where you can see it all the time. I personally don't think enough people are using their insights. Very easy to forget about it if you've got to click to see it. Um, and I know some people didn't even know they had them. But with it being here, it's nice and easy to see that it's there and you can keep your eye on it and find out what's going on. Now, the one it's showing you straight away is showing you your reach. So this is how many people I can reach at any sort of point in time. So for example, here I'm reaching 938 people, which is fantastic. That means that many people have seen my post. Um, and it goes up and down depending on the day and what's happening. And then the line underneath it says how many people are talking about certain things. Now, if people are talking about your page, what that means in Facebook terms is they're either clicking like on a post or they're commenting on a post or they're sharing that post with their friends and family. Now, the sharp eyed amongst you will have noticed that I don't have 900 likes. I've got a 677. So if I'm reaching more than that, that comes down to these things being shared and people clicking like on it and that means other people see it in their stream. Again you can click see all and I'll do a separate video in a little while to talk you through the insights properly but just so you know where to find it but the other couple of things on the back end that you need to know about are these two things. First of all they're giving you page tips all the time so even if you don't ever like my page and you don't get my tips all the time, Facebook are giving you tips on how to make your page more successful. So if you've got a page with only 10 people that like it or um, nobody's talking about it, do have a look at that. They've got some useful information in there. But the other thing which is new is this, the message box. Now, uh, up until a week ago, you couldn't send a message to a page on Facebook. You had to post it on their wall. But this allows you to communicate privately with a page, with a business, with a brand, what have you. 
Um, that's great, first of all, because I think, uh, particularly in the UK, a lot of us that have complaints, we don't necessarily want to put it on the wall. We're brought up with this whole mustn't grumble attitude. Um, so if I want to complain, I'm happier to do it privately and uh, give the page owned, owner or the business a chance to respond to me privately first. Uh, and that makes it very accessible. And of course, these complaints really are very useful for a business, aren't they? Because they're feedback and they help you know where you're going wrong, if that's the case. But they also allow people to contact you about maybe your services or what you sell. And again, maybe keep that a little bit more private. And you as the page owner can see those messages straight away. So far, I've only had one, but it's only been live for less than a week. Um, again, you've got the see all, which will become necessary uh, further down the line. Now, you can manage that, you can change it, and you can take away that inbox if you wish. But I strongly recommend you keep it because any path of communication that your customers can come to for you is fantastic. So that's quick tour. I will be doing another video on insights shortly and I'll also be going through this little panel up here in another video shortly as well. So I hope you've enjoyed that. I hope you found it useful. Um, if you have, please click like uh, or share here on YouTube or on Facebook if you're watching it on Facebook, wherever you are. And please, of course, share it if, if you think other people will find it useful as well. If you've got any comments or feedback for me, throw them my way. I'd love to hear them. And, of course, thank you very, very much for watching. I do appreciate you taking the time. And all my contact details are coming up right now. Do take care until I speak to you again. Bye-bye.